A man goes to marriage as he goes to war. Wide awake, with fear, with respect, and with absolute assurance. So it's been interesting knowing Jason for a long time. And uh, I live in the West Coast, for those of you guys who don't know me. And so I haven't had the most time to get to know Hannah. It's easy to see, first of all, how Jason looks at her. You can just tell that, obviously, she's the woman for him. He's all about her. Flash forward to second grade, and it's actually not the first pandemic I've spent with Hannah Delacourt. The great chicken pox pandemic of second grade was started by Hannah, patient zero. Um, I was actually pretty surprised when Hannah asked me. You start thinking about the things you love about your friend, her kindness, her thoughtfulness, and uh, you start thinking about how many more smiles I would see on your face. How many, you know, more laughs you hear over the telephone. <laughs> when you finally met your family, and then I heard all the kind words they said about him, and just the wonderful warmth that you always had as a person kind of grew to envelop somebody else in your sphere. It's always fit right in, like two puzzle pieces. Wow. Hey. You're so pretty. Thank you. Love you. A fitting beginning and send off to these two here before us as they join in the covenant of marriage. A day such as this for these two friends and beloved family deserve nothing less than the precision and calculation of a sniper. In this case, the target is our hearts and our minds. How might someone define success in terms of marriage? I submit to you one answer and one answer alone. And that answer is found in endurance, faithfulness, and perseverance to the end. Love is patient. Love is kind and is not jealous. Love does not brag and is not arrogant. Does not act rudely. Love does not seek out its own, is not provoked. Does not take into account a wrong suffered. Does not rejoice in unrighteousness, but rejoices with the truth. Love bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, and endures all things unto the end. Marriage, just like war, is a proving ground. The fires that come with tide and time test and refine us. It reveals our most intimate struggles and challenges us daily with the reality we choose to live in. My prayer for you both today, Jason and Hannah, and always is that you grow in love and faithfulness each new day and press on ahead until the end. <laughs>